How's it going you guys? Um, this is just a spontaneous, I feel like filming a video for some reason video. Uh, right now we have some forest fires going on in Washington. So this smoke, I don't know if you guys can tell. Here, let me show you. Check out the sun. So yeah, this little dot in the sky is the sun. Everything else around us is cloud. It's crazy. You can't see further than a kilometer ahead of you right now. So when you're going downtown, you can't see the North Shore Mountains. It's crazy. Anyways, yeah, I'm feeling inspired to skate the local park. I haven't been skating here much. You guys may have noticed that you don't see it in the videos too often. But um, yeah, I don't know. Let's see what's happening. All right, I got an idea today. Let's skate all the stuff that I don't usually skate at this park. All right, here's one of the things I genuinely never skate, is this like super funky hip right here. I don't know, I just, it's really steep and um, jarring. I don't like it, so let's skate it. All right, we got one of the locals here working on some sweet 90s style frontside flips. What's your name? I'm Callan. Callan. So Callan's gonna show us how to do a frontside flip in the 90s. All right, next we're gonna skate this thing. And you guys have seen this in my videos a lot. I love this thing, um, but it is falling apart. I mean, check that out, it's brutal. Uh, fortunately, it looks like nobody's waxed it in a while. Every once in a while, like somebody comes here and puts wax all over it and it's like, deadly. I've literally shown up here and seen like a four foot by four foot swath of wax just randomly on the bank. Like doesn't even make sense. Like a little kid found a piece of wax and just like smeared the thing. Deadly. So much scarier to come back in this way. All right, let's see if anyone's been waxing it. That's the sound we want it to make. In the past, I used to ride up right here. But I don't think that's going to be an option. It looks like I can get a clear path. That one's loose too. But maybe if I come up here and then go into tail stall. Yeah, if you do the big carve around, you can get it. Maybe I'll try it one more time, a little bit up higher. So next, we got the giant Earth member. Um, yeah, I don't even like this thing, but I'm thinking maybe we'll do a little 50-50 up into the bank. Ah, it's got a big crack right here that I don't want my truck to land directly in and it feels like it's going to. But, oh well, just gotta take the chance sometimes. Woo. No, it seemed like I got on right before it. No, I was right, that's sketch. Didn't mean I wasn't gonna try it again. Ugh. All right, well that was fun. And um, yeah, that thing is definitely as sketchy as it looks. All right, last but not least, we're gonna skate the pizza wedge. 
I'm not really a big fan of this thing because of the point, right? Like if you want to try a nollie trick or something, you got to do it so early, which makes it radder if you do it. But it's just like, it's just a weird obstacle. It's, it's so pointy. that board to suck up. I've been feeling sore these days. Oh. You know, for whatever reason, I feel more comfortable trying backside flips off and down stuff. But I'm definitely more consistent on front side flips. But see if I can back that up. Oh. I'm blaming that one on the setup. And we'll get into that in a bit. I know I haven't talked about my setup in a while. Come on, better than that. Ugh. Oh my god. There's that vicious wheel bite again. <laughs> that was almost clean, but I got the wheel bite again. Finally, but you know I want another one for redemption on the consistency and also just because I want another clean one. Oh. There we go. But wait, there's more. I haven't done anything switch or nolly off this. Oh. That is legitimately so terrifying. <laughs> okay, yeah, I want that. Next one, next one. Maybe, maybe. Ah. Oh, man. Whew. Gotta get that timing just right. Oh. Oh. That was a bruiser. Right on the buttocks. Ah. Oh. Switch go. I went straight to all the nolly stuff. Oh. All right, I don't know what's going on. Genuinely felt like I had this, and then it started going all over the place after I fell on my buttocks. But I know I got it. Let's keep going. I knew 
I just needed that one well-timed one. Sometimes you just gotta put in the work till it happens. That's less scary at least. You know, as much as I want to be throwing down every one of those, skateboarding is all about trusting your gut. And not one of those has felt right yet. Almost didn't make it, but I powered through that wheel bite. Alright, let's keep going here. Bow! Alright, this is almost getting braggy, but I want to keep it going. Oh, Should have kept it at four, it was cleaner. That was greed. Straight up, unadulterated, switch heel flip greed. Ah! That's a little scarier than the switch heel. Let's try. Oh! Alright. Ah. I want it better, but I'm not going to get greedy. Instead, I'm going to go for the finale. You know where I'm going with this. You know, as much as I would love it cleaner, I'm happy with the pop, happy with the form. Sometimes you just gotta know when to fold them. Like I said, trust your gut. Fold your cards before you fold your ankle. Well, all right, you guys, that kind of came out of nowhere. Um, I spent most of my day laying on the couch, kind of just being lazy. Wasn't expecting to film a video, but um, yeah. Anyways, wheel bite. Why was I getting so much wheel bite? Well, probably because of this super sweet setup I've been riding that's awesome for like ledges and flip tricks, but definitely not the best impact setup. Anyways, this is a custom eight inch deck. Um, we haven't had this shape made yet. It's just, I'm testing it out for now. It's very, very similar to the one we currently already have, but just a little tweak. Um, I'll let you guys know if I choose to make this one, um, you know, provided that um, he who shall not be named will actually make us decks again. Um, but anyways, yeah, what trucks do I have on here? I have Thunder Lights. So these are the ones with the forged base plates. They're 147 lights. So they're low. They got the forged base plate, which makes them a little bit lower. I got 52 millimeter lock-ins and they're brand new. So yeah, we're getting a lot of wheel bite here. But um, this is like such a sweet little Technar setup. It's, um, you know, the big wheels give it that hefty pop and hefty pop feel. But then once you get it in the air, the light trucks, um, they have the solid axle hollow kingpin, but the light trucks make it just super flippy and manageable. Like I could flip this thing high. It's got that hefty pop feel to really get it up in the air. And then, um, like I said, light and manageable and flippy. Super good pinch, super good lock-in, good on transition because of the big burly wheels. Yes, I know, there's a bunch of you heroes that are riding 60 millimeter slime balls or 56 millimeter conical foals. Good for you. 
this is big for me. <laughs> Technar. Anyways, so yeah, this is a super fun setup, but that's why I was getting so much crazy wheel bite. Uh, one last thing I wanted to touch on real quickly here. I did mention getting clean in one of my videos recently. I don't think I want to make a whole video devoted to the subject, but yes, at 22 years old, I was a mess. Uh, I had been using hard drugs for like six years. I was a blackout drinker. I smoked pot chronically. Um, I think it was pretty funny actually in the comments. There's a few people like, he meant getting clean off weed. Uh, like, no dude, <laughs> no. That is a struggle for some folks and I'm not gonna um, delegitimize that. But for me, that was only part of it. I had to quit everything because again, I was a mess and I had been doing a lot of that stuff for a long time. And towards the end, it got to the point where I was spending more time loaded than I was, um, you know, clean. So it was uh, dark days, man, dark days. I can't get into that too much on the channel, but um, just know that if you're looking for a way out from whatever is going on for you, there is a way out. If you want to ask me more questions, you guys know how to get a hold of me. I'm happy to chat, especially if you're going through your own dark times. And just know that, yeah, getting clean is worth it. My life has been good. I've gotten to spend, um, you know, we're coming up to 18 years clean and sober. Like, I'm truly grateful for that. I had an insane teenage and early 20 years and um, I got clean and I was able to have a really good adult life. Okay, just lost my train of thought. You guys get the idea. You don't need me preaching at you. Hopefully you got something out of this, whether it was the skating, whether it was a little bit of setup talk or, you know, this whole getting clean business. It's worth it. You're worth it. Um, but yeah, getting a little cheesy here. Um, I gotta go. This ending has gotten officially awkward. I hope you appreciate that. Me putting myself out here, making these awkward outros for you guys. Okay, till the next one.